After it was revealed recently that Congress has been using millions of dollars in taxpayer money to pay the victims of sexual harassment at the hands of members of Congress, uh, Congress promised us that they were going to act on the issue and they were going to put a stop to it and they weren't going to use our tax dollars to have to silence the victims of their own sexual harassment. Well, uh, Democratic Senator uh, Kirsten Gillibrand was one of the people who actually helped to draft legislation to put an end to this practice. And if you're gonna sexually harass someone and you wanna pay them off, you're gonna do it out of your own pocket. And this uh, provision that Gillibrand had been working on was attached to a spending bill that's supposed to be voted on within the next week or two. And unfortunately, according to Gillibrand, what she said Monday night, is that uh, members of Congress have come along and stripped all of that language out of her provision, which means Congress is still planning on using your tax dollars to pay off the people that they sexually harass. So we had this big issue and a big stink about it. And they promised us, Paul Ryan stood in front of the country and swore that he was going to take on this issue and fix it. And now we find out that once again, like so many other issues out there, they were absolutely lying about it. This means that the money you pay in in taxes, hell, we're coming close to tax day anyway, you can rest assured that maybe a couple bucks of that and a couple bucks from other people in this country, maybe just a few cents, but some of that money is more than likely gonna find its way to a person who was sexually harassed by an elected member of Congress. That's what we're talking about here. It's not even so much that they're using tax dollars. It's the fact that this is so ingrained into the DNA of members of Congress that they're out there sexually harassing people on a regular basis, that they're making inappropriate comments to their staffers and their aides. That is the bigger issue that needs to be fixed. You know, I, 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 I understand tax dollars get wasted all the time. And it sucks, but it's the way it is. But if that's the price I have to pay, some of my tax dollars going to a victim, then I'm okay with that if it means that these harassers in Congress get exposed and immediately get removed from office. I'm willing to pay that price. I would be okay with that because I wanna know who these people are. I wanna know how many times this has happened. And I want to know why nobody else in Congress is speaking up for the victims here. This is systemic. This is built into the makeup of Congress and this has to stop. And that's what people like Senator Kirsten Gillibrand were trying to do at least to an extent. But now we find out that these men, she didn't say if it was Republicans or Democrats, but a lot of Republicans have come out in support of stripping these provisions. They're the ones who are the problem. They're the ones who need to be exposed. And we, since we're the ones paying to silence the victims, have every right to know who out there, who in Congress is sexually harassing their staffers and why in God's name are they still in DC. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.